this video, I want to show you how you can start using the decomposition tree visual in Power BI to start exploring and analyzing your data set. We're also going to touch on some of the AI capabilities that it provides. We're going to go through it step by step together if you want to follow along. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's go through this data set that I prepared for you today. What we have is a simple sales table here. If I open it up here, it just has some information about some sales uh, for different types of vehicles, so classic cars, buses, trucks. We have some information about the orders, so how much was ordered, how, how many and at what price. Uh, some information about the customers, like their names, the deal size, and also when the order was made. Besides the sales table, we have a calendar table that we use for some time intelligence calculations. And we also have a calculations measure table where we store all of our measures. We have a measure here, total sales, which just calculates the quantity um, against the unit price. This is the uh, measure that we'll want to analyze. So as you can see, we already have the total sales as a measure, but we want to start analyzing what contributes to the total sales, right? And to aid with that, we have some categories within the sales table that we can start analyzing. Now, you can start creating some measures, some, uh, some graphs and some tables to analyze that. Or what you can do instead is you can start analyzing your data by using the decomposition tree visual. So we can do that by adding it here. And this visual only asks for a couple of things, right? So at the moment, we don't have anything. We'll drag the total sales to the analyze part. So this is what we want to analyze. And in the explain by, we'll start adding a few columns that we want to explain this total sales by. So how we want to expand and, and show the total sales. So we'll bring in uh, a couple of things here. It doesn't really matter which one. So we'll just bring territory, country. We'll try to bring deal size as well. Maybe customer name and also quantity. Let's bring the quantity there in the explain by. So now you'll see in your visual, you will have the total sales um, and you will have a plus here, which you can expand your data by. Now if you click here, you will have a few options here. So you'll see the options that we have here, which is what you want to explain your total sales by as we added it here. And you also have some values here that you can select the high value or the low value. And you'll see with these options, you have a light bulb. So this light bulb icon means that these values are using uh, AI capability. So we'll touch on those later. Um, and so we'll try to expand the total sales by the categories that we've added here. So let's click the customer category territory. Uh, you'll see now, you'll see the breakdown of your total sales by territory. And uh, let's say we want to see what the EMEA is. Uh, which country within it um, and you can choose whichever one you want uh, the order of the explain by is just more of like a guidance of how to expand but let's say you just want to jump into customer name straight away that allows you to um, expand to that uh, that granularity and quantity so now that you've expanded your details um, in this order, you can now have a look at the different trees that you have here, right? So for example, we're showing the EMEA, EMEA which is the customer territory. Um, and, and th this is how we break it down at the moment. But if you want to, to see a different path, so let's say you wanted to see the path for NA, so what contributes to NA, you'll see you have some information uh, of that breakdown for the sales in NA. So most of it is coming from USA um, and not a lot coming from Canada. You'll see that if I hover over any of these um, column headers that we have here, you'll have the ability to lock uh, the levels. This disables your user's ability to, you know, customize the look of your decomposition tree. So if you wanted to just um, for them to stick to a specific 
order. This will allow you to disable their ability to, um, to mess around with the le levels. For now, let's delete everything. Uh, let's go back to the very beginning. So let's remove all of these different categories here. And I will select instead of our explain bytes, we'll select the light bulb icons that we have here. So we'll say select the high value. So this basically means we want to find um, which value, uh, which has the highest value for the total sales. So if we hit the expand by here and you'll see already it started rearranging our explain by. So before, if you remember, we had it starting with the territory. So now the AI um, determined that the deal size medium um, affects the total sales the most. If we hover over the, uh, the light bulb icon here, it says, it says the total sales is highest when the deal size is medium. Now let's try to keep expanding this further to see um, what, uh, what contributes to the highest sales. If we go high value here again, you'll see it shows us territory, EMA. We'll just keep expanding it for now. So you see that all the categories have the light bulb icon on top of them. That means that all of these categories are using the AI capabilities of the decomposition tree. So it means it decides um, which categories are um, most likely contributing to the total sales um, within for our total sales. And again, like before, you can select a different tree to get the decomposition for that. So for example, for the deal sizes where it's small, um, you want we want to see what the path is right so what what is um, when is the total sales the highest um, based on these categories so you see because we selected the small there um, instead of letting the AI select for us there are two things that happen so you'll see that the line is not dotted anymore it's a solid line so it shows that um, this is not generated by the AI Another thing is that you will see that the light bulb is uh, grayed out and it's not blue so it means that this is not uh, the recommended value by the AI, it's something that you've selected yourself. And you can select different paths here in the decomposition tree to see how you your data compares depending on uh, and it recalculates the high value for those different trees. So let's say for the UK we want to see which customers results to a higher total sales. And because the decomposition tree is a visual in Power BI, it means that it's also affected by other external visuals so for example um, we want to let's say create a filter here so let's let's just make a space for it and we want to filter this um, uh, this visual that we've created here let's say we want to filter this um, decomposition tree that we created here by product line You'll see if, as I select different product lines here, you'll see that the, uh, the tree also gets filtered out. So it's only showing whichever product line we have selected here. So pay attention to the categories as I select the planes on the product line. You see that the AI moved the customer territory at the very first instead of deal size. This is because the AI determined that the customer territory uh, have a higher impact to sales uh, as opposed to deal size. And that's really it for this video. I hope that showed you how simple it is to start analyzing and exploring your data using the decomposition tree in Power BI. Leave a like on this video if it helped you. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. See you again on the next one.